This whole concept of um, mixed nets that we allow two people over the internet to communicate with one another, but obfuscate that traffic or that communication in some manner so that a third party monitoring the entire network can't really see who's talking to who or the nature of what that communication is. NIM is the project that when I saw it, I realized was the most sophisticated implementation of that concept. Privacy is a big problem in the online sphere um, and a technology that combats encroachment on privacy is necessary. But the other big question for us is, is this a problem that is uniquely solved with decentralized technology and the sort of incentives that, that introducing cryptocurrency can create? For us, that's the sweet spot and that's where NIM stood out. NIM operates at the network layer, which means that it actually protects you from the metadata. So right now, if we send messages over WhatsApp, then the actual message is encrypted. Also, what ZK is doing is obfuscating a lot of like the actual message. What NIM is doing, they obfuscate when you send it, how long the message is, and so on. With NIM technology, we can leverage the blockchain technology in order to incentivize uh, users uh, towards the network, which is, which is a good uh, use case for uh, blockchain technology. NIM provides an incentivized mixnet, the first of its type that helps to address network level privacy. This is crucial as blockchains today are largely transparent and will require privacy at both the application and the networking layer. I think that NIM has a real opportunity at providing network level privacy to everybody. I think that that's really important and, and that's why we back NIM.